For the first time since the attack on the U.S. Capitol, the National Guard is no longer stationed outside for protection. They wrapped up their tour this month. CBS 2's Nicole Killian spoke to a pair of guardsmen who were there right after the insurrection. As soon as rioters took over the Capitol January 6th, it didn't take long for Captain Patrick Richards to get the call. It was pretty surreal for me. Um, like most Americans, I saw it happening on, on TV. Seeing the evidence of, of that building being broken into was uh, emotional for me. Why was it emotional for you? Just because it's, uh, it's a symbol. It's, it's the, the center of the United States. It's our Capitol building. Captain Richards and First Sergeant David Lopez were both deployed in late January. Lopez served two tours of duty in Iraq, but never imagined he'd have to defend the home front like this. I was never expecting this. This is what we trained for. From the pleas for help right after the riot to the inauguration. You solemnly swear. Around 26,000 troops were activated at the height of the mission. Some enduring cold floors and parking garages and manning barbed wire fences around the clock. We're trained to fight foreign, foreign threats and um, to be defending from possible domestic threats or our fellow citizens was the most challenging for me. And then there was another attack, taking the life of U.S. Capitol Police Officer Billy Evans. But out of tragedy came trust and newly forged friendships with Capitol Police. We feel as though that they're, they're a, a brother and sister force for us. Bipartisan bonds also developed with those they serve to protect. Thank you all from all 50 states for your patriotism. Allowing these guardsmen to leave the Capitol with confidence. I think it's also a safer place. I'm just glad I'm a part of it. It's history. And pride to take home. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Washington.